Okay, so this is problem six of chapter three. And we have three different uh, sets of resistors connected in different ways. And we want to find the equivalent resistance seen at points A, B. So here and here. And then right in part C is nested in the middle. Okay, so how do we want to handle it? Let's do part A first. We want to do the Go from the outside and then towards the AB. We'll simplify that one. That's equal to 1 over 60 plus 1 over 20. Inverse. 1, 60 plus 1, 20. Inverse is 15. So you replace this with its equivalent of. 15. And then now you can uh, simplify this one here. 12 is in parallel with 24. Right? So that's 1 over 12 plus 1, 24. Inverse. 1, 12 plus 1, 24. Okay? And that's equal to 8. Remember when you are simplifying parallel connections, make sure that your equivalent resistance mix is a number that makes sense. It should be smaller than the smallest resistance. So if all of that is the same thing as 8 here. And then now, once we do that, this here is a series connection. So we have 8 plus 15 plus 7. And that is 30. So we replace this here with 30. So now we have 120 and 30. So our equivalent resistance should be less than 30. 120 plus 1 over 30. That's going to be 24. So replace this with its equivalent resistance. 24, right? And now we just have three resistors in series and they just add up. So we have 15 plus 24 plus 25, and that's going to be 64. So R, A, B is 64 ohms for part A. Now, for part B, let's start from the we, we all we want to go from the farthest in. So here, we've got a series connection there, and that's going to be 75. So 35 in series with 40 is 75. We can replace that with its equivalent resistance. These two here, even though there's an angle here, we're connected at two endpoints, which means it's a parallel connection. So we have 50 in parallel with 75. So we have 1, 50 plus 1, 75, inverse, that gives us 30. So we're going to replace this with its equivalent resistance of 30. These two resistors are series connected, right? So you got a piece of wire here, you go here, so 30 in series with 20 is 50. So we can replace that with its equivalent resistance of 50. Now we have the 50 is connected here, it's connected here also. So it's in it's in parallel with 75. 
So 75 in parallel with 50 is 175 plus 1 over 50. So we go 1 divided by 75, 150 gives us 30. So now we can replace that with its equivalent resistance of 30. And over here, let's deal with this right here, 9 in parallel with 18. 9 in parallel with 18. gives us 6. So replace this with its equivalent resistance. Of 6. Down here, we have 30 in series with 10. So we're going to replace that with 40 with its equivalent resistance of 40. So And then we have this connected here. So 40 is in parallel with 60. Series with 24 is 30. Thirty in parallel with 30 is 15. This I know because there are same equivalences in, in parallel will be one half the, the equivalent resistance of two resistors of the same resistance connected in parallel will be one half of that resistance. So or you could just do 130, one, oh, plus 130 inverse, you will get 15. And then now we have 10 in series with 10, in series with 15, in series with 5, and therefore, which gives us our equivalent resistance for part B, R, A, B, is 20 ohms. Now, for part C, our AB is nested right in the middle. So we're going to work from the outside in. We're going to go start from here, going up to the middle, start from here, going towards the middle. So 30 in series with 24 is 54. So let's replace that. What was that? 30, what was that? 30 in series with 24, so we have 54. Now we have 54 in parallel with 27. So 54 in parallel with 27 is 1 over 54 plus 1 over 27. Inverse. 1 divided by 54 plus 1 divided by 27. First power is 18. So all of this reduces to 18. Over here, we have 50 in series with 30, which gives us 80. 80. Now we have 80 in parallel with 20. So 80 in parallel with 20 is 1 over 80. That gives me 16. So I'm going to replace that with 16. Oh, let me see. I feel like I have a math mistake somewhere. 
information down wrong. So 18, this is 18 in series with um, 18 in, in series with 12, which means it's 30. So we have 30 here. And the map, now it's very easy. That's what I remember. It's like, oh, I don't remember getting a fraction doing this. It's still the same thing. And of course, we still have, these are still parallel connected, even though they are Separated. The definition of parallel connection is electrical um, to resistors that are electrically connected at two endpoints. Um, so it's connected here, it's connected here, therefore it's a parallel connection and we can replace it. So 30 in parallel with 30 is 15. So I start with 15. And I forgot to write down those values, so I have to hunt them down. This is three, and this is two, and then now they're just parallel or series connected. Three in series with 15, in series with two is 20. So RAB is 20 ohms. Okay, did I get the right answer? Yes. Okay. All right, thanks guys. I always gotta check to make sure I didn't make some little, some mistake. 